What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Julian Stout, licensed personal trainer, licensed PE teacher, world record powerlifter, special education, and health teacher here to take the fear out of fitness. We're about to take off. Class is in session. Well, I've had an interesting week and I have come to discover that I've put on a couple of pounds that I didn't necessarily want. Body fat percentage is a little bit on the higher side of what is healthy, but I'm not exactly happy about that. So your boy's about to get to work, real work, all right? I've been so busy focusing on being competent at my job that I've ignored myself in the process and that ended yesterday, all right? And in all seriousness, it really has ended yesterday. I'm going to snap back and put myself back on front street and make sure that I'm doing not only my job now that I feel a little bit more competent about what I'm doing, but also take care, better care of myself. So more is coming. Be on the lookout. All right. Without further ado, here's what we are talking about today. Your food can be doing serious damage to not only your body, but your brain, okay? There's an experiment that is being done to determine what is going on, what is Alzheimer's, what does it, what is happening, why is it happening? And it has come to be where it is now being considered that type, that Alzheimer's is now considered type three diabetes. And the reason why this is, is because the funny thing is, is that everybody likes to think it has to do with sugar. It does and it doesn't. It has everything to do with energy yields, body fat percentages, and that's it. Because what's happening is, is that you're becoming insulin resistant in the brain and insulin resistant in every part of your body. And as a result of that resistance, things start to break down because if you are not utilizing sugar properly, everything starts to go haywire, which is why it's called a metabolic disease because it's a, it's a disease of the processes of the body. It is not necessarily, you know, a disease of your, your ability to well, actually it is, of um, your ability to burn and utilize energy properly, all right? But it's not about me, it's about this, and I wanna share my screen with you. If you can hear my voice, you know, if you hear my voice, you know, give me a like, all right? But here we go. Put him in a vat of water and he finds his way to safety every time. 5.2. Now, look at this guy. What he's been eating is the equivalent of a North American diet, complete with all the fats and sugars we regularly consume. He doesn't know where to go. His brain has been damaged. These rats were totally normal, and then they turned into demented animals. They don't remember their learning after even a day. And um, as rat is perfectly healthy put him in a vat of water and he finds his as the challenge gets harder and harder they fail more and more just like a human with alzheimer's disease 36.2 in this lab the belief now is that alzheimer's is really diabetes of the brain linked to insulin levels which can be affected by too much sugar professor suzanne delamonte insulin resistance we now know can occur in any organ. It can occur in the muscles, that's what diabetes is. It can occur in the liver, that causes fatty liver disease. It can occur in the ovaries, that's polycystic ovary disease. And it can occur in the brain, and we think that's Alzheimer's. As the challenge gets- Okay, so, as you heard for yourself, it could affect any organ. So if you're having issues with fertility, if you're having issues with your womb itself, ladies, this is a potential 
situation in which taking better care of your body might put you in a better position to have children when you want them first and foremost secondly if it's affecting people one way what do you think it's doing to your children how do you think it manifests in children how about ADHD? How about brain fog? They can't focus. They can't think clearly. How about behavior? How about the fact that the level of control over themselves and not being so enamored by foolishness is also rooted in what they eat. All that junk food, all that soda, all that stuff, right? We might wanna start reconsidering all of this stuff. This is not gonna be a long video, so I just wanted to make sure that you guys understand that because this is very, very serious. And like I told you, I'm gonna take better care of myself beginning yesterday. And I think that you should also so that you can be the best you. Guys, I appreciate your time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and on YouTube. Have a nice day. Be the best you. Classic style.